Morning all, welcome to the tranquil suburbs of Ontario, Canada. So we have some construction work going on. You thought I was the one that made all the noise? Oh well. Let's take this opportunity to make our own noise, shall we? Right, let's, let's get this door plate made up. If you want to see the story so far, click up there. Otherwise, listen to some soothing music while I work. Right, the trucks have moved around a little bit so it's not quite so noisy so let me show you where we are at one rough door okay here's my lovely plate as you can see it's quite a peculiar shape because it gets thin there, fat there, thin there. So I've curved this edge to kind of contour the bottom of the door. I had to bend this because of that bend as it goes up to the window. Are you catching this? Close enough. So let's see how it fits. Pretty good, pretty good. So, hinge holes, uh, <laughs> screw holes for a hinge there, screw holes for a hinge there. Let's just see where the where the the frame is sitting now. Which way round? This way round. Okay, so that goes in there. Let's go this way first. Right. Right, let me explain. Okay, so that's my thick plate that's going to keep this edge rigid right down to there. It's sitting at a slight angle for just now, it's just all lying in place. As you can see, my inner frame is nice and flat, so don't need to concern yourself with this kind of thing. 
that's just the door jam. It doesn't matter. That's designed for 85 years ago. So as long as this section's nice and flat, I'll be able to put a nice interior panel over all the gubbins. So there's still a lot of space in there to put in things like, you know, windows and uh, door handles, that kind of thing. But I just have to make sure that there will be enough room for the glass to slide down there. Yeah, I think I'll raise this side up a little bit. Just give me a bit more space at that gap. Have to think ahead, people. Okay, so the next step is take this out, move it over to the car and line up where, where the hinges are going. So this will set there. I suppose I could do it that way. This will be easier with a clamp, right? Right, let's drill some holes, my favourite part of the day. Okay, so far so good. I had to do a bit more tweaking with the door stuff, so we're finally ready to weld this frame onto this end plate and then try it on the car. Thing is, I want to. I want to just tack it on, but I also want it to be strong, so I'll do a semi-tack, a semi-permanent tack. You know me and my semi-permanent. Right, that should be enough to try it in the car. I'll see you over there. Right, I'll try and do this without touching one of my welds. I'm getting a third degree burn.
and this is why I wanted to do semi permanent tack welding because as you can see that's not closing enough which means well I've still got the proper bolts to go in the back obviously that's restricting how far it closes top and bottom so I could I could start with that before I go too crazy with the angle of this because it does need to come in oh about seven inches <laughs> the theory's good right, I'll be back with an updated hinge section okay okay I've ground down those bolts for now so the the hinge is closing as far as it should I will of course replace these with countersunk bolts when I get them but as you can see I'm still way off so that obviously means that this jam here on the car on the door was actually at an angle like that kind of sucks so what I'm going to try and do is cut off these tacks bend that whole frame that way and then just see if the see if the, the door skin is going to go over and sit right I think I also need to bend it up that way a bit it's kind of sloping it's hard to tell here but if you look at the line where that bar is it's just under that coach line and over here it's two inches below so first thing I'll do is cut those tacks bend it in so that at least it's level with with that line there and then I can always push it up that way a bit wish me luck right I got those tacks off no problem so I've also bent the whole thing up the way so now as you can see it closes along there and once it's connected there again it will sit about it will sit a bit there I know it's still lower but I did actually uh, plan that into the the door as well so I'm expecting that to be okay uh, I'll just do a couple of tacks at the top this time and then slip the slip the skin over and see if it's going to work Okay, let's try the door. There we go, it's on, kind of. Needs a bit of alignment. Well, needs a lot, <laughs> needs a lot of alignment. <sighs> but the, the structure's now there at least. Obviously needs to come up an edge. That's okay. That's why it's not actually attached to that frame. I should be able to slide the whole thing up in that frame. Uh, obviously I need to fill in all these gaps around the hinges. Overall, the actual gap at this side is good. There and there. So, as I say, if I can just slide the whole thing up, then we're good. I know it's, it's rough, but once I grind it all down to look like that, 
the bullet holes will shine. That will be the feature of the car. <sighs> that was a pain. But it's kind of done now, so can I go on to other stuff? <laughs> right, I can just leave it there. Uh, I've added a couple of tacks from the frame onto the door itself. One up here, one over that side, just to get a better idea. It also gives me more strength than the, the door that if I want to bend it up. So, so far I've got to there. Which is pretty good, actually. Only needs to come up, like, oh, quarter inch, really. And that's with, that's with all the weight on it, so... You've also got the adjustment at the hinge side as well, just to lift it up. And then, obviously, this section here is still floppy because it's not attached at this point here. But that's okay, this was the main thing. <sighs> so there you go. Two door coupe, finally. Okay folks, right obviously long way to go, but that's the hard bit done, that's the bit I was dreading, the whole structure and alignment, now it's just making it look nice. Oh, and here comes the rain, what a surprise, so I'll just have to stop working again, no seriously. And tomorrow, right, on to some fun stuff, I want to test fit those new wheel spacers I got, put the wheels on see if I'm going to have to change my rear suspension because the, the wheels I'll be putting on I've got a smaller diameter tyre excuse me a sec than what's sorry a smaller diameter tyre that's what's currently on it so the back will drop a little bit and if that's going to be a problem if I can't adjust the shocks they are they are coil over so I should be able to adjust the, the height a bit but if it's sitting too low I'll need to change the mounting positions of the shocks no biggie been there <laughs> Right, oh, before we go, quite a lot of uh, recent subscribers, thank you very much, but you know what, please leave a comment, it's uh, it's nice to get into this community, because everyone talks to each other and helps each other out, so make sure you leave a wee comment, just say hello, and remember to let me know where you are so I can add it to the map of world domination, which we might do an update on Sunday, so if you want included on Sunday's map update, uh, leave a comment with your address. Not your address. Oh my god, I'm not a stalker. Well, I am a stalker, but leave your leave your town location. Okay, right. Enough waffle. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. And thanks for kicking my butt to get this door done. I think. Right. Bye, everyone. <laughs>